It's Super Crawl in Hamilton. What a great time. I'm Val Cole. You know this man. Mike Fortune here. Uh, Val, I, I look forward to this time of year because it's a, it's that unofficial, unofficial transfer from summer into the fall, yeah. and this is the way you kick it off. Super Crawl, 16 years, sweet 16. If you catched uh, the front page of the Hamilton Spectator. If I catched it? If you ca yeah, if you caught it. Catched it, caught it. Hey, I, we've been off all summer. i got to work <laughs> on my English here a little bit. I'll get better. I'll get better. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun it's down gonna here. It's going to be a lot of fun. The weather is with us this oh. year. It's cooperating. Uh, put on, Make sure you put on the extra sunscreen or long sleeve. Yeah. yeah. Look after yourself. Lots of fluids, lots of water. <laughs> uh, bring some cash. Uh, bring your credit cards. Bring your debit cards. Vendors, food trucks. I think this is the poutine capital of the world this week. I'm smelling something. Is that poutine? It might be. There's lots of stuff. So good. We got all the food, all the action, all the guests. The stage behind us is the main stage. It's already warming up. Yep. Uh, it's going to be an action-packed weekend. And we it, are so happy to be here. It is. Uh, Mike Neighbors, uh, Marisa were here last night. We're here today. Harmony's here tomorrow. We yep. got a whack of guests, too, Val. We sure do. We're going to be highlighting a lot of the businesses and uh, some of the artists that are in uh, the, the, the whole super crawl. And we are thrilled to welcome Brody Campbell from Because Design Matters. Well, Welcome. Thank you so much, Val. Mike, I uh, really appreciate having me out here. It's going to be an exciting weekend. Brody, good to see you, my friend. Uh, this is a thrill. Uh, you're an artist, I understand. Yes, I'm uh, an artist working at a Dope Chief Studios. I also do some stuff over at uh, CFMU, and I'll be set up at the corner of Vine Street with a, uh, a merch booth. And then as well, I'll be down at Mulberry and James mm -hmm. doing an art installation. Oh, wonderful. What we love about Hamilton is its arts community, would you oh. say? Whether it's music or visual arts, we got it all yeah. here. Yeah. And so your, what would you, how would you describe your style of art? My style of art, I think I would describe it mainly as like graphic arts and like advertising. That's okay. the lane I kind of go into. How do you get your inspiration? Um, just look around. Go out here, the city. Yeah, you know what I mean? this it's is true. the spot. It, it's true. It, it, it's it's something else. You can get a lot of inspiration here. You've been doing this your whole life. You were saying. I asked you a little earlier. Yeah, I've been doing this my whole life. I always like to draw and paint and do stuff uh, like that. And now, now it's the full time thing, right? Which I, I love. And Hamilton's like the perfect spot to pursue something like this. Okay, cool. You're living your dream. Yeah. What does Super Crawl do for you? What what does this exposure do for you? I think there's nothing like bringing all the people together to like see these different artists who maybe on a regular occasion can't get this much shine or a spot with so much traffic mm. so you bring them out and you can really get a chance to get some proper exposure and and as an artist it, it's tough nowadays to be an artist 100%. No, and, and you're, you're you're one of millions that are out there mm -hmm. uh, what what needs to be done in the arts community here locally to Hamilton, what would you? How would you like to see people get more involved and help out local artists? I think a huge thing is just like showing up to events like this, right? Because okay. artists prepare and they get all their stuff ready, but then if you come out to an event like this and it doesn't get maybe super crawl traction like the rest of the events at other times of the year, um, all that preparation can kind of go on to, uh, empty eyes or. Understand? Yeah. 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 Do you use social media to your advantage a lot? I do. That's uh, I promote everything to social media as well as everyone else, I think, which social media is, it's full, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of people there. So an opportunity like this to promote in front of people and kind of have that interaction one-on-one -on -one goes a long way, I think. Mike, this is cool. He's got something called the Advice Exchange. Advice yes. Exchange, what yeah. is that? So I'll be doing the Advice Exchange down at Mulberry and James Street North. And what it is, is you come down, you read a piece of advice out of the jar, and then you write your own advice in the jar. Is this the jar? Is this yes, the jar right here? This is the jar. Can I get you guys to read a piece of advice? Love to, Val. Okay. Let, let's hear. I'll hold it for you, Val. You take your piece. So somebody, up you got to turn it upside down. Somebody has up. written advice. Yeah, these are collected over all the art crawls this summer. And I'll By take the way, out. if you ever have to. Uh, Put your name into a, uh, a jar for a draw. Crumple it up just like they did. Apparently yeah. you can grab it easier. Yeah. Here's the advice. Have fun. We are all here to live. XOXO. And you know what? I think the days, the times that we're living in, that's a great piece of advice yeah, right there. Yeah, that's beautiful. All the advice I've seen people give has all been such like hope, like inspiring, or some of it's like tactical good advice, but I, I've really enjoyed doing this <laughs> and just like engaging with everyone out here, right? And it must be inspirational for you. Yeah, sometimes people put advice where I'm like, whoa, I was like, do you know that was just for me? Like, this is Seriously? Like, yeah, no, it's like you don't know 
what they I don't know what you wrote also because you put it in the jar and then they shake it up so I don't know who's written what makes it really fun for me to read them afterwards popping by uh, you can uh, you can add to the advice jar and you can also win a prize yeah this is a because design matters exclusive you will win a 55 inch TV or one person will win a 55 wow. inch TV everyone else who participates will get a prize there's a prize for every single person who participates but one person will get a TV this weekend wonderful isn't that great wow. uh, as an artist too sponsors you, you must you know you must be looking at other ways of bringing in revenue too and wouldn't it be nice to have people come out and say hey Brody we like you we want to help you sponsor you somehow sponsors are huge yep. and Supercrawl is one of a great like advocate for that because they have actually sponsored an event at Dope Chief Studios that will come later in October it's called Future History Today. It's going to take place in Jackson Square, and it's an immersive art experience. There's 14 artists working on it. And what does that be, mean, immersive? Basically, it's not a gallery of pieces hanging on the wall. Like Every section mm -hmm. of the studio has been transformed into an interactive experience. I think that's fantastic. Can I read my advice? Yeah, what'd you get? I got BKTY. BKTY. In brackets. Be kind, be kind to, to yourself. yourself. So, wow. again more great inspiration and then what you do is you just take it like this and put it right back in no you put your own advice back in do you got oh, any advice no. you said before that you might have some advice I got Here's advice for advice. city council no I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm just kidding if you ever feel <laughs> self-conscious about your face smile that's okay nice that, that's a good one I like that everything yeah it does well they say it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile so just mm. always smile and be happy that's what my mom taught me when I was like four years old and that, that's all I see down here. I've Smiles. never walked around Supercrawl and not seen everybody just enjoying themselves and having a good time. Brody, my man, they, they, they're they engaging. You could sit here and people watch, and everyone is unique and friendly, like you said. It's yeah. it's it's uh, it's something special that Tim Podesick has put together here. No, this is amazing. Uh, what Sonic Onion does for the arts community is just huge. I think like the opportunities they give to local artists, whether it's at... Mills Hardware, or Bridgeworks, or at all their events. Like I think this is a makes a huge impact on the city. Tell us more about the Dope Chief Studio. Um, so this studio is out of Jackson Square. Mm -hmm. It's run by Dope Chief. He's a phenomenal local artist. He uh, he is given the opportunity for up and coming artists to work out of this studio. Um, he his only requirement is he wants to see artists working and doing things. He doesn't charge rent. He doesn't charge anything. He just wants people to be there, putting out work. That's the Good main for thing. Him. Yeah. yeah. Again, giving back. He he understands what this community is about and like, so I think that's wonderful. He said he always wished he had that when he was starting the arts community. So now that he's able to give that opportunity, it's yeah. made a huge difference. Well, he, he's he's lived it. He's walked through it. Now he wants to give back, right, Val? And that's, that seems to that's what happens when you recognize, looking back on your own life, the people who have helped you along the way. Yeah. You want to be that for somebody else. Yeah, it's kind of like you want to pay it forward in a sense. Right? And, and Brody, with your artwork and with your advice chart, you're you're doing that, and and it's it's uh, the way you're going to be able to mentor. You know, I'm sure you've probably touched someone with your artwork and conversations too. Yeah, there's lots of opportunities to work with people, and I do a show over at CFMU where I have local artists and local businesses come in promote. There's no no restraints on what you can come promote. If you got an event, if you got a business, I'm like, come on out. You said graphic arts is your genre. Mm -hmm. Your tattoos have a kind of a graphic arts feel. Is yeah. it, am I wrong? No, you're right. This is actually the city of Hamilton. I was going to yeah, say that's, that's the, the skyline. That's the skyline. Show, hold it out so we can yeah. do I hold it. Where are we at here? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Well, that's yeah, thank down, you very but... much. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, this way probably. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, you know what? It, again, you're wearing, you're literally tattooed with Hamilton now. <laughs> I, I love Hamilton. Born and bred. I love Tim Hortons. Yeah. I love Supercrawl. I love Eugene Levy. I love everything in Hamilton. I love Bernie's. Oski Wee Wee. Yeah, Oski Wawa. Wa. Ty Cats, 4 o'clock tonight, by the way. If you, so <laughs> if, if you're going to the game at 4 o'clock, we're going to beat the the Red Blacks. Make sure you come on down to Super Crawl after. Damn. Check out our friend Brody here. Come Nothing exchange fun. some advice. Maybe you'll get some yes. knowledge. You'll win a prize. Maybe you'll win a TV. I think we should have you uh, on cable 14. Just, you know, do advice columns. Just <gasps> sit here and take advice. I'm in. You uh, in? A yeah. star this is isn't born. A, is this an official agreement here? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to talk to our general manager yeah. about that. But no, you're, you're doing, and you know, the artists here collectively, like here I am, I'm wearing, uh, you know, True Hamiltonian, yeah. our, our good Shout friend Max. Max, our friend Max, you know? Yeah. You guys all get along. You guys all talk to and help each other out. You're a great support system. We're in uh, parallel corners from him over on Vine Street with the booths. He had a phenomenal uh, fashion show last night. Yes, he did. Had a huge turnout. I don't think I've seen so many models walk in a, in a show so far. Yeah. It was packed. Yeah, Max knows how to do it. He does. It's uh, 
Hamilton's home. Hamilton. The it fog is. is burned off. Bring your sunglasses when you come down. Yeah, it's getting sunny out here for sure. Bring your sunglasses, like we said, a little sunscreen. Uh, bring a light jacket or something. Uh, and you know what? Come come down with an empty stomach too. <laughs> bring some advice when you come. Bring some advice if you're coming down. Have you tried any of the food trucks yet, Brody? Not yet. I gotta have breakfast soon. I, you know, I've been getting ready all morning. Ooh, <laughs> some good stuff out here, my friend. What's your favorite thing of the food trucks? Uh, we we had uh, last night. My wife and I were down here. We had the lobster, the lobster roll. Have you had the dumpling truck? They got the neon sign. That was on my list today. It's uh, a Toronto Feast, T.O. Feast, I think it is. Okay. They got great crispy chicken dumplings. I love it. If, it if this isn't on. enough to tempt your appetite, what Brody's saying, come on down to Super Crawl. Support the fine folks down here and all the volunteers. You know where else you should go? Where? Cowabunga Pizza. Yeah. Cowabunga Pizza's on Vine Street. It's like a party all day there. All right, you gonna be there? I'll be there. We'll, we'll hook up a little later. Yeah, do you All get right. some cowabunga bites? We'll we'll have a we'll have a little piece of pizza. I'll give you some advice. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> uh, are we're, we coming back? I don't know. Where do you want to go? Do we just want to keep talking to Brody? <laughs> yeah, keep talking to me. Hey, we're we're going freestyle. Why don't we take a break though, Brody? I know you got a busy day ahead of you. Uh, yeah, this it'll be a fun great. one. Yeah, thank you so much for your time, uh, for what you're doing, not just for the arts community, but for our wonderful city, my friend. You guys will. I appreciate you having me out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care, brother. All you right. Have a good day. Super Crawl 2024. More when we come back right after this. Join in on two days of free family fun at the 16th Annual Telling Tales Festival. Canada's top book event for kids from tots to teens returns to Royal Botanical Gardens on September 21st and 22nd. Meet over 60 authors, illustrators, and storytellers, including illustrator Kevin Sylvester and Sharon of Sharon, Lois, and Bram. Explore Hendry Park and unleash your creativity with accessible programming that brings stories to life. Register now. After a day out with your friends and it comes time to hit the road, you can be proud of yourself for always driving sober. No matter where you are or who you're spending time with, if you plan on driving, don't plan on drinking. We rely on our roads to bring us together. That's why it's so important to do our part to keep our communities safe. Help stop impaired driving before it happens. Every day, everywhere, because all roads lead to home. A message from Arrive Alive, drive sober. Wentworth District 3v3 basketball is here in the Hammer. Here's what I want you to do. Monday nights at 6.30, I want you to sit down in your comfortable chair, watch a little basketball with us. I miss you. I'm on vacation, but I want to see you Monday nights. Come on, join us for a little basketball hoop action. It was one of the most successful and popular shows in Japan. <laughs> The challenge is to see whether someone can survive on competition prizes alone. He has no food. Every week, more than 30 million people tune in. When he reaches the target, or he gives up, or goes crazy, it's sure to be on TV. And we're talking to uh, we're talking to uh, so many people who are coming up to us on the street. Man, we've heard some interesting uh, conspiracy theories, but we've had some great chats with real people who are here enjoying Supercrawl. Hamilton is so eclectic, <laughs> and that's that's me being uh, saying it very politically. It, it, but it's wonderful here to see all the different people. All the di they come up to us. They they have their thoughts. They have their advice. Uh, and I love that they feel good. comfortable enough to come talk to us. Well, that, I, like I, that, I, I actually. I like that. Well, because you're such a welcoming person. <laughs> you just come, talk to us, sit Everybody down. Everybody knows Mike. Uh, Everybody in the city knows Mike. But more importantly, more, more people know our next guest. 
at Grant Avenue Studios. Because we, as we were mentioning earlier, this is a very artistic city. Yes. A lot of people like to go into the studio and their art is music or spoken word. And when you saw the list of guests, you saw Grant Avenue, yeah. you saw, oh, I, I know them. You've been in there. You were impressed My with what you saw. My eyes up. I love Grant Avenue Studio. This is Mike Bruce. Welcome. So uh, thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Thank you. If Good you, to see you are an artist, uh, a, a musical artist in Hamilton, you probably spend a good deal of your life in Grant Avenue studio making that music come to life and 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 uh, so that it can be spread around the world your studio is booked constantly right it's pretty good I mean it's you know I'm not gonna lie it's uh, music studios in 2024 it's uh, it's a little tough everybody's got their basement studios going on but nah, I you know the same. What, what what are some of the biggest myths out there right now for, for people you know to get into the industry and they come in and then you're, you're kind of like reality. It's like, oh, this is how it all works mm. now. What, what are you it, finding? Uh, well, I think one of, the, I, you know, one of the biggest misconceptions about you know, a, a recording studio, a real you know, quote-unquote recording studio as opposed to a basement studio is you know, the, just the amount of, uh, just the level of gear that you have. It, it makes a difference. It's you know, the people with the experience to be able to capture the sound and be able to mix it and you know, master it in the way yeah. that you, know, you, you hear things on the radio. That's what everybody wants to go after. But um, you know, not everybody for you know, all their great intentions and all their hard work, you know, sometimes you just need that little extra bump and that's what we provide. Wonderful. I think that's so right. Yep. It, you can never discount the value of someone with experience looking at what you're doing from the outside. Now, you don't want to derail somebody's artistic goal. Not at all. That's not what no. you're doing. But when you when you add your experience and you tweak it here and you just tweak it a little bit there and you just give them a little advice, maybe try it this way, maybe try it that way, and then the, all the equipment that is so sophisticated and brings that sound together, that is invaluable. And that's what you're what you're paying for when you go to the studio is that advice and that experience that's right yeah and uh, you know just to um, you know add on to the you know not devaluing some of these artistic endeavors we're we're actually there to enhance and help you create sure. what's you know kind of in your head that maybe you can't get out of your home studio or um, you know and, and the, the other big myth is that it's it's unaffordable and you know if you there's a lot of great studios in Hamilton Grant Avenue is one of many and we're all willing to help out artists that you know can't necessarily afford the big dollars you know and we um, we, we encourage people to come out and like that's you know we're musicians ourselves we all started out that way we we took over the studio because of the history and you know we just didn't want to see it fall by the wayside and we just wanted to add value to the community and, and by adding value to the community you're also adding value to the performer or performers because all of a sudden you become part of their team Right? Yeah, that's the idea is to add value, you know, and right. hopefully people are getting that value, and I think they are. Shoulder you know? to lean on, you pass along some advice. Do you ever get into suggestions as, and uh, with uh, with artists as well? or? Well, yeah, some people want to come in and they have a very clear idea of what they want to do, and they, they have their own producer or they self-produce. Okay. Um, other people really want, you know, like a, a, a full-service kind of menu where they want somebody to, you know, actually produce their, their uh, project and... and offer up okay let's say mike fortune is bringing his guitar, guitar. into your studio and he says i want to be famous we can only do so I much be, i want to be the next elvis presley <laughs> what what will he experience like to fit like fit, will he stand behind a microphone behind a glass where you guys are tell me about the whole thing you know what it starts with a conversation we like to meet the artists we like to figure out what it is they're trying to accomplish uh, who they are, what genre they're going after, you know, what's the instrumentation, do you have an arrangement, is it just literally an idea? Some people just come in with lyrics and they want music written to it. We have a stable of artists that are really, you know, top-notch musicians that we can actually help you write the music if you want. Um, so wow. it's, it really goes from like the smallest uh, um, involvement to, you know, right through to full you know, Remarkable. and even artist development. One of my partners uh, has DC Music in Toronto. He does a lot of artist development. He does a lot of, uh, you know, he has rehearsal spaces for uh, large touring acts and that sort of thing. So, um, um, Mike, talk to us about the building, the the keeping it preserved, keeping it where it is, and, and, and keeping it that that gem of Hamilton. Yeah. No, I mean, obviously, the uh, the pedigree of somebody, something like Grant Avenue Studios is. Yeah. 
You know, it's it's funny when we first when we first talked about taking it over. We of course we knew about it. We, we had been there, um, and just you know, I, I went there. I, I work in film, and I'm a I'm a location manager. I own a film studio, and and so I kind of went there with the idea that I wanted to maybe do some filming there. And then just in conversations with Bob Deutsch, um, you know, uh, the the gentleman who's been running it and bought it off of the Lanois brothers back in the day, and has been running it for the last forty years magnificently, and. Uh, we, we got talking with him, and he was, you know, he's kind of getting to that point in his life where he maybe wanted to start winding down. And we all agreed that the last thing we wanted was, uh, you know, a developer or somebody to come in and just gut the thing. And I, I think it would, you know, it'd be more than just gutting a building; it'd be gutting, you know, a piece of history yeah, and and agreed. just, you know, a, a lot of a lot of people in this city when we took over. We, we heard a lot of stories, and and they just keep coming. Everybody we meet has a connection to Grant Avenue Studio, and it's just. We got to keep it alive, you know. Indeed. Do you have any big uh, acts that you're working with right now? We've got some projects going on. Yeah, yeah. I don't really want to get into that too much, but uh, you got to keep it all in the down low. I, I get it. Yeah, I, I get it. Um, I just want to go back to the history one more time because you mentioned the Landwall family. Yes. Who, of course, are iconic in the music industry and in this city. Yeah. Were you able to forge a relationship and, and, and a work? pretty closely when all this was kind of going on and happening and what's that relationship like uh, I, I mean so you know he Daniel Lanois called us you know like I, at the very beginning he was he was actually looking for Bob Deutsch because they're very close <laughs> yeah. and um, you know when he realized it was us and and you know we took over uh, that we taken over the the building you know his first comment was he's you know I used to own that right and we were like yeah <laughs> Daniel we, we know we know and uh, so you know the thing is like you know, he doesn't owe us anything. Um, he's a great artist. He's iconic. Um, he obviously supports what we're doing. Uh, loves the fact that it's staying alive. But the reality is, you know, he wants to see what we're going to do with it. You know what I mean? Like, um, and, you know, he, he, if he comes around, he comes around. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Like, you know, I, I guess what I'm saying is that, um, you know, we, we kind of need to prove ourselves. You know what I mean? Mm. He can only live off the legacy for so long. And we need to we need to you know continue yeah. that legacy. And as a studio, you are you are promoting one of the stages, Grant uh, Avenue stages down here, I believe. That's right, Val. That's the one you're going to be hosting. One. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, bringing up some of the groups tonight. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. So Val will be down there tonight, bringing on wrong a lot stage. Of the, the groups. Wrong stage. Is it wrong stage? Wrong yeah. stage. Well, there's yeah. multiple stages. We're going to be somewhere interviewing and and bringing on guests you're more than welcome to come to our stage tell you what we're gonna go anyway all okay. right we'll, we'll all right that. we'll make we'll just we'll just, uh, we'll just go it. up and we'll we're just, just gonna it. introduce people why because yeah. we have a microphone and because we can no. i love it <laughs> <laughs> but that's what that's another thing about super crawl everything's on the flyer you're, yeah you're organized you're having fun but then you, know, you got to pivot and adapt right 100 <laughs> percent uh wh where do we before we got to go here where do you see the future of music Ooh. The future is wide open. You know, it's only as limited as, as one person's thoughts. You know, like if you can think it, you can do it. It's that whole cliche, like there is no limits. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's art and art is subjective and nobody can predict what a hit's gonna be. Nobody can predict what people That's are gonna right. catch on to. You just gotta do what you love and if you love it, other people will love it. You'll find your audience. And Gosh, that's so true. Best message I've heard all day. So true. Love it. Amazing. Love it, Mike. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. I think we gotta, we got to take a break, and we're going to come yeah. back with some more stuff. What do we'll you say? We'll do more stuff. There's okay. more people to talk to. We're at James and Barton, just to say. James and Barton. Uh, make sure you go <laughs> check out Grain Avenue Studios. We're going to be taking a short break. More uh, Cable 14 special from King William and James right here. Super Crawl 2024. I'm Val Cole, and I want to personally thank you for sharing a wonderful season of Hamilton life with us here at Cable 14. I hope you're having a safe and happy summer. And remember, you can catch the best of our shows as they encore over the next couple of months. Plus, subscribers can stream episodes on demand at Cable14.com. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Hamilton Life. Click follow, and we will see you in the fall. When an impaired driver killed my brother DJ, my life changed forever. During the pandemic, all of our lives changed and many of us turned to alcohol and drugs to cope. As life returns to normal, the increase in substance use from COVID has lingered and some police services report an increase in impaired driving that caused heartbreak and devastation. Now, more than ever, 
We need your commitment to never drive impaired and to encourage all of your family and friends to do the same. Together, we can save lives. Next week on The Pickup, Little Ray's Nature Center serves up yummy treats with a side of thrills and chills. A Gila monster? Yeah. How, ooh, what is that? You can oh, hold it. Yeah, oh, but you can hell no. hold it. <laughs> My fluffy was actually fluffy. This one. Your fluffy was also uh, good. Catch it Wednesday night at 9.30. I walk for my partner who is on dialysis. I walk in memory of my dad. I walk for all those waiting for a kidney transplant. I walk because I live with kidney disease. When you participate in the kidney walk or support someone who does, you're taking steps and providing hope to thousands of Canadians living with kidney disease. Behind every step, there's someone we walk for. Who will you be walking for? Who will you be walking for? Who will you be walking for? Register or donate at kidneywalk.ca. We are back. I'm looking ahead, Mike, because we're we've got th two more shows to do today. We're going to be talking to some food truck folks. We're going to be talking to some fashionistas, people yes. who have fashion installations. Remember down last, here? We, we got outfitted last year I by actually, one of the, sto uh, the stores. I remember here. that, yeah. and I still have that shirt. I love I do, it. I do too. And um, we'll, we'll put you in a sorry after this when, <laughs> when sorry, we bring that sorry. guest in. Sorry, and then, not sorry. Uh, the band that is going to be headlining tonight on the main stage. We're going to be talking to them. I'm so excited. Yeah, and, and again, because it's grassroots, Val, you know, we have these opportunities to speak with artists. We yeah. get to have some of these bigger bands that normally we wouldn't be talking to. Guess what? They're just regular people like you and I, except they do some really <laughs> cool stuff on the stage. I remember that. Chantelle Kravyazik last year was just in her, like, a flannel shirt and some jeans. She said, yeah. I don't have any makeup on. And I said, I don't care. We, you are beautiful. We, exactly. And her husband was here. And yeah. again, nice casual conversations. And, and again, this is Hamilton starting to wake up, folks. This is our <laughs> early show. Yeah. More and more people are starting to gather. Lunchtime is just around the corner. The weather is perfect. It is gorgeous. Uh, you can see, though, it's getting hot. I'm, I'm really perspiring here, so I'll be glad when this show's over in a few on more the minutes. Sweat? No, please don't zoom in on the sweat. <laughs> uh, but listen, you're supporting local. Yeah. You're supporting local. And yeah, we got the food trucks and the vendors, but then we also have all the shops that are open. They're paying their rents and their mortgages. Go in, support local too at every level. I mean, there's, there is parking, but if you can take public transit come, take, to come down here, that's means. that's the best because yep. you're going to be uh, walking and, and uh, who knows where you're going to end up at the end of the day and you'll have to walk all the way back to your car. Just take a bus. You brought up a good point. Wear comfortable shoes. Yeah. I made the mistake last night of not wearing the most comfortable shoes Oh, did you last wear your night? heels again? Pre yeah, pretty much. Yep. And when you go from James all the way down to Leona Station and then back, say the hot tub was, <laughs> I was in the hot tub a little longer last night just to, you know, get them, get the blood going again. So just comfortably when you come down here. For sure. Bell, right. I think we're going to wrap now. What do you say? It's it for this time, okay. but we're going to be back at uh, 3.30. Listen, this this has been a great start to our, our show, our day. We hope uh, you've enjoyed as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. More Super Crawl coming up. Come on down. Check out the website, their app. It's coming. It's everything is here today. Super Crawl 2024 celebrating 16 years. Right here on Cable 14. See you next time.